Hey, welcome to everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be the series preview to the Laval Rocket, the Canadian's organization's AHL team, versus the Syracuse Crunch, the Tampa Bay Lightning's AHL team. As this could be a battle of two veteran goalies, depending who the teams decide to go with. As it could be Max Legacy versus Kevin Poulin, which would give us a matchup of two good AHL veterans. Or Caden Primo could potentially get timing cage, which would then give a rook against an AHL veteran in Max Legacy. Because I would assume Amir um, Miftankoff and Hugo Annafelt uh, or since they're still growing and developing their games, both young talented goaltenders were still growing their games not to the AHL level of legacy yet the veteran will get the start he played the most games for them in the regular season so I would have to envision he would draw in that for the Syracuse Crunch obviously when it comes to the regular season the Syracuse Crunch were the better team of these two but not by as big of a margin as some would envision because the Crunch played 76 games to the Laval's 72 and they were only beating them by six points in the standings but the Crunch are stacked even though the Lightning might not have necessarily another I don't know like say Stam coach in their system right now they still have a very good defenseman obviously in Sean Day they got good veterans in Charles Hutt and Gabriel Dumont they have Barry Boulay who's probably still going to be a good player uh, for the Tampa Bay Lightning when it's all said and done. And then, as I already mentioned, they have a good AHL veteran with uh, Gabriel Dumont, who's been down there murdering the AHL for years as he's played over 600 games at the AHL level. So there's a good mix. Legacy's a very solid veteran goaltender. He's not anything great, but he's a very solid career AHL goaltender that's reliable. And if you can play like this team has played good defense in front of him, or in front of, for, for that matter, whoever is in cage for them, they're going to be A-OK -okay because they just need to continue to play this good defense. But I would have to envision it's going to be Legacy over Anafelt or um, Miftankoff because those are two unexperienced goaltenders against a very experienced goaltender in Legacy. Obviously, <clears throat> the keys uh, for the Syracuse Crunch to continue to have success against a team that also has some the offensive, some of the offensive punch of the Laval Rocket is their continued success on defense between Sean Day, who's great offensively, but a great two-way defenseman, Alex Green, uh, Radish. So they have obviously very good guys back there. Ryan Jones, Frederick Cleason, who's been around for a while. Obviously, Ryan Jones has been around for a second as well. So they have a good mix back there of veterans and young stars. Not young stars, but young, good, solid players as well, I should say for them as well, where Jones has played over 100 games as well, that was drafted originally by Pittsburgh, so he's a guy that's been around for a couple years now as well, so I think these guys being able to have a mix of experience with the great skill of the Radishes and Greens on defense, obviously there's also Burbix, who's a rookie, but Burbix is a guy that came in and immediately looked pretty comfortable in this league, uh, kind of like Hora did earlier in the year, and um, Carlisle did um, earlier in the season as well. Not really early for him because he played the 10 games, but Hora did play almost 45 games for them. So this team, the Syracuse Crunch, just like the Tampa Bay Lightning, they have a very, very, very deep team. And <clears throat> I think that's going to spell trouble for the Laval Rocket. Obviously, two guys over 60 points, a guy over 55 points. Uh, you go all the way down to the 10th skater on their team. Uh, and he has 29 points, and Remy Ely, who's been around for a minute, Green, Radish has 25. Uh, to, so, like, obviously, they have very solid um, guys to pick from here. Where the Laval Rocket, they're going to really need either Caden Primo, the youngster, I would assume they run with the veteran Pullum, but we'll have to see. If not, they're going to need the youngster Primo or the veteran Kevin Pullum. It doesn't matter who's in cage to really step up in this series because I expect a lot of offensive pressure from the Syracuse Crunch. They're also going to need the continued ample great success of uh, Harvey Pinard, who's going to continue to develop Sebastian D, uh, Xavier Ouellette, uh Nate Schnarr as well, who used to be with, um, if I remember correctly, I think he used to be with the um, Binghampton Devils when they were around. Uh, Jesse Yolen, Danik Martell, former Flyers prospect. Well, this team also has very good depth of over 20 point guys down to the 14th a man on the roster, but two of those guys are inactive, but 
um, they they do have guys down to that point that are very good depth offense. I just think when it comes to these two teams, the star power in the AHL level of the Syracuse Crunch is just going to overweigh a little bit that of the Laval Rocket. I do think this is kind of a coin flip five game series, and I could see it going to five because again, the Crunch played the extra games that gave them the benefit. But the Crunch also have the little bit better defense, where obviously Dello played very good defense in his rookie season. Bison's a good defensive defenseman. Um, so is Amoroso. But uh, they, Bell, 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 Pedio, excuse me, he's not the sexiest in the defensive zone. Well, let's not the sexiest in the defensive zone. So you're going to need very good defense from your not just defensemen, but forward core through, which the Vols got most of the season, but their top defensemen are not necessarily the sexiest in the defensive zone, where they do have guys like Bison, D'Lo, Niku, and others to make up for it, but they're going to have to make up for it against an offensive punch of the Syracuse Crunch, and that's why I kind of lean towards them, because with their defense of day, obviously being a star on that defense, plus they have Dumont, Hutton, and Boulay um, as their skaters in the forward core, I think they just have more star power plus green radish uh, on defense as well. And now the influx of a great player in Nick Burbix, who's probably eventually going to be back there on D for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, I just think when you add in that skill to a team already like the Syracuse Crunch and you add already another great defenseman to a team that was one of the better defensive rounded teams while being able to push the offensive pace, which is a very impressive thing to do because usually you don't have that way you can really push the offense and still be that sound defensively the crunch have that i was trying to make this video shorter but it's about seven minutes long i'm definitely gonna have to lean the crunch on this one but i could see this series definitely going to five games this is the first five game series preview of the colder cup players as we preview the syracuse crunch there's going to be a good goalie matchup potentially between legacy of Horn, or maybe Caden primo will get in there or anafeld or one of the youngsters from the crunch but i would have to think it would be legacy pulling or potentially, I would say Primo has a better chance of going in than the youngsters to start for the crunch. I would have to think they would lean legacy. Peace, everybody. Stay safe. Please do subscribe down below or above the EGG's widget to keep the channel grown to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.